Let's do this. Let's get back to our roots today. I need a sip of chai to get me through this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Catherine. Welcome to today's video. This has been long requested. I apologize if you can hear the ball squeaking in the background. That is Bentley. Of course he has to join us today for filming. If you guys are new, my name is Catherine. I post three to four new videos every single week. I would love if you subscribed, stuck around. We're getting so close to 100K. We are like 2,500 away right now, which is wild. So thank you guys so much. This video has been requested quite a bit recently. So here we are. I'm gonna show you guys what is on my iPhone 12 Pro today. Walk you guys through how I lock my apps. All right, let's get into it. So this is the phone that I have covered in fingerprints. This is my case it's by merch amsterdam it just says self-made i want to thank me for believing in me i thought that was funny when i saw it i also have a few other ones from their collection i have the one that says your nudes are safe with me love that one i always get questions about that case and then the other one i think says something along like the lines of like you're beautiful or something they're really cool cases i love the mirror feature on them it's pretty cool i mean it's not like a perfect mirror but it's a cool feature to have on the back of your phone. I have the iPhone 12 Pro in the black color, space gray, is that what they call it? Look at me, losing my, my tech talk already because I haven't done one of these in so long. Okay, let's hop into this. I'm gonna start screen recording and uh, we'll just go through it. All right, this is what my home screen looks like. Got lots of questions. All of my screen savers are always on my Pinterest. You guys can find them there. My Pinterest will be linked down below. All right, so once you unlock my phone, this is what it looks like. Very simple, easy to look at. We've got my Widget Smith calendar at the very top. Mine glitches quite a bit, but as you can see, uh, JK, it fixed itself. It was glitching like two seconds ago. It's fine, we're fine now. It says Thursday, it's the 29th of April. Also, it's wild that April is almost over, but that is what I have at the very top. And then the widget underneath that, I have the screen time widget. I'm someone that likes to keep track of my screen time. I try not to pass like five, six hours on my phone, which is a little ironic considering social media is my career, but I do try to limit my time on my phone as much as I can. So I put it right there. It's something that I look at every single day, try to make sure that I'm not going over five, six hours by the end of the day. Next to that, we have my little cam folder. So I have all of my stuff sectioned into folders. I feel like I've gone through this a ton. Also, I just realized Safari is at the top. Then we've got Smart Life, which is how I control like my lights in my apartment. I have smart bulbs in my lamps. And then we have my cam section, which is basically Bentley's Fitbark, his um, baby cam, which I have yet to set up in this apartment. He doesn't even really need it anymore. Like he's a good boy. I don't worry about him while I'm gone. And then the Ring app. Then we have my Zen folder. These are two of my most used apps. We have Sleep Cycle, which I love this. I don't even know what that was, but I love this app so much. You can track your sleep, everything with it. You can see all of your statistics, the journal, like sleeping, how many steps, if you snored. Bentley snores and it always picks it up. It's the funniest thing. Talking, movements, it, it tracks everything. It's really freaking cool. I love it. And then we have Insight Timer, which is my favorite app ever. I use this pretty much every single night. The last few nights I've been using uh, the Deep Sleep 432 Hertz sound that's on here. These are some of my favorites. You can just like search them up and find them if you want to use them, but it's got a ton of meditations and stuff. I love this app so much. I use it literally every single day. Next, we've got my edit folder. Uh, we've got Anam to help plan my Instagram feed, unfold, photos, Lightroom, Visco, pretty self-explanatory. Then we've got my socials, YouTube, YouTube Studio, and then Pinterest. This is where you guys are going to find all of my, what is going on here? All of my stuff. Pinterest looks different. Wow, we got 13,000 followers on Pinterest. Didn't even know that. Go us. <laughs> uh, so I have, where are my boards I don't even know how Pinterest works anymore. I clearly don't use it that much, but these are where you can find all of my screensavers. It's literally called screensavers. And the first one right there is where you're gonna find the background. That was my lock screen. And then this one right underneath it is where you're gonna find my home screen. So they're both right there for you guys. You can find them, we can match, that is that. All right. And then we have Instagram. 
this is my Instagram. You guys would follow me. We just hit 18,000 followers. I've been trying to like pump out some Instagram content for you guys. We're getting more frequent with the posts. I like to have fun on my stories. I'll do lives over there. So definitely go check that out if you guys want to follow me over there. We have TikTok. TikTok is a fun time. Love TikTok. I've been having a lot of fun on TikTok, kind of letting my personality shine over there. If you guys want to check it out, it's just at Catherine June with two E's. Okay, moving on, we have my finances folder. Nothing, nothing exciting in there, but banking and finance stuff. Then we have my biz folder, which is basically just where I host all of like my email accounts, my Shopify, I have a small business. Um, and then I honestly don't even use Notion anymore. I need to get back into it, but I've just, with all the, the moving and everything that's been going on this year, I have fallen off that game. At the bottom, nothing's changed. We've got settings, phone, messages. I know I need to text people back. I will get on that. I am the worst person with that, but it's fine. I have like my three friends that I will like text constantly and then everyone else, I, I forget. I'm the worst. I'm sorry, I know it. Okay, then we have my Spotify. You guys always ask what I listen to, so let's see. What is this? I don't even know what's going on. This is my profile, Catherine June. The playlist that I've been listening to the most recently is the Celine. Celine is the name of my new Jeep. Love her, she's beautiful. Uh, so yeah, this is what I've been listening to as of lately. I'm just continuously adding more songs on whatever I'm in the mood for and that's like my go-to playlist. All right, and then we just have the app library. I don't have anything organized over here. I don't have any other pages or anything. I just have this one page. I have all of the apps that I use on here and then when you swipe over, it's got everything else. These are the apps that I honestly don't use as frequently. I'll just like search for them in the app library whenever I need them. But I have like my main ones on my homepage. All right, let's get into how I lock my apps. For screen time, we're gonna go to settings and then we're gonna go to screen time. And this is where it is, it's the downtime section. So this is the schedule for my phone. I have not changed it in months, you guys already know. I lock my apps at 9 p.m. every night. I like to go to bed early because this one wakes up early. Bentley likes to be up by like 5.30, 6.30 every single day, so. Apps lock at 9 p.m. forces me to get off my phone and then they do not unlock until 7 a.m. You can set that by doing like custom days, customized days, and then I just go in. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday, the apps don't, like they still lock, but like you can still get into them easily. Like they don't, they don't lock the same. Uh, but yeah, that's the schedule that I have. Keeps me on track. Really just, it works for me. So that is how you can customize your screen time and lock your apps simple as that. I feel like that's as exciting as it gets on my iPhone. Really not much going on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the screen recording. <laughs> All right, we're keeping this video short and sweet today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see anything else, any other videos, tech stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.